Green Island was part of the boat tour that we had. It was one of the stops we made. I did some snorkeling there. Karen just enjoyed the beach. There's nothing on the island. No one lives there. Uh, just kind of boat tours go there to do snorkeling and hang out on the beach. Um, as far as the title, The Mystery of Green Island, I'll get to that near the end of the video. Green Island's been privately owned by the Mill Reef Company since 1947. It's located on the east side of the island. This bay here is where we went snorkeling uh, as part of our boat tour. We hung out at this stop for two hours. So we're on Green Island. We're going to do some snorkeling out here. I'm not sure how long we'll be out. I'm not sure what kind of fish we're going to see today, but uh, I'm excited to be out. I love snorkeling. It's relaxing. And uh, we've got a beautiful day for it. So you'll see what I see. And, uh, Karen's chose to not do any snorkeling, which is usually for her because she doesn't like it. But uh, anyway, it's going to be fucking awesome. I can't wait. After this, we get some lunch and then we get back on the boat that is behind me. It's called the Excellence. Who's been good? Had some reggae on the way here. We're drinking until after the uh, snorkeling's done, so. I'll be looking forward to a beer when we're done. Alright. If by chance you wish to come back, are you feeling sick, tired, or whatever? You just wave your hands. Huh? Let time. us know that um, you want to get back. Victor will be at the dinghy. And wave like you're waving for something. Don't wave like, like that we're going to wave back because we are Can so friendly. Yeah? I'm going to wave back. <laughs> if you want to swim back on your own, let us know as well. But there will be a dinghy there at all times to take you back to the shore. You can't swim. Can you cannot? You cannot. You do it. Okay. Any first timers? Yeah. See what I can. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I saw this little guy about maybe three minutes into the swim. He's about the size of a small satellite dish, maybe 18 inches wide. Only one we saw there too, the whole time we were there on Green Island. Please give the video a thumbs up below and subscribe if you haven't already and click the bell for notifications when we make a new video. All those things help us get discovered in the searches. You can also follow Beach Bumbling on Instagram and Facebook and those links are in the descriptions of the video. Cheers. I'm not sure the name of these fish but there's a lot of them so if anybody knows just throw down in the comments what the name of it is please. To attract the fish to the tourist, the gentleman you see on the screen has got some banana mixed with water in a bottle and he shakes it underwater and it comes out and then all the fish kind of swarm towards it. Just a little bit of a trick of the trade. Keep in mind that's something you could do yourself if you're just walking off the resort beach going snorkeling. Uh, most resorts have banana or mango, you can use either of them from what I'm told. And uh, that would just enhance your experience. And similarly, if you're, you're going to go swim with the sharks, you can just douse yourself in blood and then jump in the water with the sharks and I'm sure they come around. <laughs> don't do that though. Seriously, don't do that. Oh, see that? So there is a decent variety of fish out there. 
there is also stingrays as you saw the one there and I did read someone's review that saw an eagle ray out there and they also have turtles as we were pulling away in the boat the turtles were sticking their head up like uh, they couldn't show up 40 minutes earlier but that's so I know they're there so that would be the end of the snorkel tour so we'll head up on the land and see what's going on crabs man. We've got crabs in Antigua. Boys of Dinchy. That one's pretty big at the top, eh? Yeah, did you get them? Yeah. Did you get a picture? I'm videoing it. I'll take a picture. Yeah, hold up. Look at them. Yeah, I thought they were rocks when I first walked up. Are you jealous? Do you want some coverage? So how long do you think I was out snorkeling? An hour, an hour and a half maybe. So what did you do on the island while I was out doing that? Walked around, swam, got drinks on the boat. Nothing. There's not much there, is it? It's kind of empty island. Yeah. Watched crabs. <laughs> Would you go uh, like? Would you go out of your way to go back there again, to that island? No. No, I felt the same way. There wasn't enough things to do. Like if you'd been snorkeling on the island somewhere else, that wouldn't go out of my way to go here. To be clear, there was some bad rain and bad weather before we arrived in the first day we were there. So the water may be a result of that. Um, this is just our experience. What we saw on one day of one year, uh, while we were there. And so this is what we're sharing with you. We just weren't really overwhelmed by the island, to be honest. So as far as the mystery is concerned, it's not like Oak Island or anything. There's no Templar gold on there. But the mystery is, what the hell would you do with your time if you're here all day? Uh, snorkeling takes about maybe an hour. Walking the beach takes maybe 10 minutes. Other than that, uh, I'm not sure why you would go there for more than a couple hours on a boat trip. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this. Cheers. Thank you.